In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create pivot tables in Google Sheets. Whether you're a beginner or someone looking to polish your data analysis skills, learning how to create and manipulate pivot tables can be a real game changer. Let's dive right in and see how it's done. To start, open up your Google Sheets where your data is stored. The first thing you need to do is select the range of cells you want to create a pivot table for. If you're working with a large data set, make sure to highlight all of the necessary columns and rows that contain the information you want to analyze or summarize. Accuracy here is key because it lays the foundation for a meaningful pivot table. Once you've got your data selected, move your cursor up to the menu bar and click on Insert. A drop-down menu will appear, presenting you with several options, but for our purposes today, you'll want to click on Pivot Table. This will open up a new interface where you can refine your choices further. A dialog box will pop up, providing you with options to either confirm or adjust the data range you've selected. Double-check that everything looks right. Google Sheets gives you the choice to insert your pivot table into a new sheet or keep it in the existing one. If you're just experimenting, you might find it helpful to choose a new sheet for better organization and clarity. After you've made your selections, go ahead and click Create. As soon as you do this, you will be taken to a new location within your Google Sheets, and you'll notice the Pivot Table Editor open on the right-hand side panel. This is your command center for building and refining your pivot table. You'll see that Google Sheets often provides some suggested layouts based on the data you selected. These suggestions can be a great starting point if you're not quite sure what you're looking for. However, if you're aiming for something more custom, you can manually add dimensions and metrics to your pivot table. To do this, you have several Add buttons available for you in the Pivot Table Editor. These include options for rows, columns, values, and even filters. Simply click on each button and pick what best represents the data relationships you're interested in exploring. This setup allows you to look at your data from various perspectives, helping you to draw valuable insights without much effort. And just like that, you've created your very own pivot table. With practice, you'll find that these tools provide powerful ways to make sense of complex datasets. Good luck and happy data analyzing!